Um, the British Fashion Council tries to promote, showcase uh, and give business support to our British designers. So London Fashion Week provides a great opportunity for the world's press and buyers to come in and see the breast of our emerging talent as well as our established talent uh, and also to meet buying directors and uh, established sales here in London. Um, amongst the lineup of new talent, um, I'm very excited by Mark Fast and Mary Ketransu. Um, also, there's a new guy shown for the first time, um, Elliot J. Fries, who's Welsh. Um, David Comer, who's originally from Russia, uh, from Russia, and he's been dressing people like Cheryl Cole and Beyonce. And there's a, just a whole stash more of struggling young talents who are determined to make it and that's what makes London Fashion Week so exciting. London doesn't really need to be compared with any other fashion capital because it is unique. It's very special, it's the only place which really launches international talent. I mean, London Fashion Week is where it all began for most of the really major directional designers in the world, such as John Galliano, Hussein Chalayan, Antonio Berardi, and of course, the late, very, very missed Alexander McQueen, just to mention a few. Hi, guys. Can you start this up, please? Uh, Alex, over here. Could, could you come more central? Come more central. Hi, Naomi. Should we start that way? Then? Yeah. Yeah. We've done it before, haven't yeah. we? Do that way. 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 Do it's very difficult to speak about the death of Lee McQueen without um, feeling extremely sad. Quite honestly, he will not be replaced. He cannot be replaced. There is nobody like him coming up through the ranks. His was a very singular, unique and special voice. And in fact, I'm wearing a McQueen skirt today, and that's got his name embroidered along the hem, Alexander McQueen. That's a wonderful tribute to I him. I loved him, and he will be sorely, sorely missed. Yes, well.